Hi everyone, this is Hedgehogs and Mia. Welcome to the very first outside video of 2018. Um, yeah, it's been a while, I know, but it's finally here. The sun is back, spring is coming and uh, our lawn looks terrible. So don't mind the quality of it, it should actually be replaced. It's been here for 20 years, so our lawn is terrible. Um, but yeah, so a few, a few things changed, not only the quality of the lawn, uh, but also we have two dogs now, so look at this. Um, actually, I reward her sometimes for being so good. Good girl, yeah, good girl, there you go, Whoop. one more. Um, so yeah, I'm here with this adorable little yellow package. Um, and this is actually the newest addition to my Hedgehog plush collection which is a little Nat and Jules Pick Me Hedgehog plushie and he just looks amazing, he's adorable um, actually I, I like petting his little forehead like this here um, and it is actually another hedgehog so he won't be the newest addition anymore but no matter um, this is actually a little I hope she will leave my hedgehog alone um, this is actually a little Kittle Toys Hedgehog that I found in the UK. It was just 10 bucks, the shipping was really low. So actually, yes, I could afford it very easily. And um, it came actually pretty quick. And it's an adorable little hedgehog. It will look quite fluffy, I think. And it's also based on a pygmy hedgehog. Not quite sure how much it will look like the actual animal like this guy. But still, um, I'm very happy I could find this guy. What are you doing? And actually I got that little guy because... Yeah, you want one, one more treat? Yeah. I just have my little treats in them. I, I break a little piece of it. A really tiny piece. And I give it to her. Like this, she learns that lying down is very good. No! So this was actually the last hedgehog that they had left. I have been following it for a while and this time I decided let's get it because if I don't it will be gone so yeah that's why I got it a while back there were like four of them available and this was just the last one so you see how long I've been waiting to get him good girl so yeah let's have a look at this package Now it is just one fluffy hedgehog, it's incredibly soft, I just felt it. Now for her things will get hard because she's supposed to be calm. No, my package, not yours, no mine. Pira, good girl, that's it, that's it. Yeah, sorry, I had to spend some time, uh, some time training her correctly. Uh, this is actually my job. I'm um, supposed to uh, to do this for the following year till she can go back to the center. Now my package. Hey, get out of my setting. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you're sweet. My hedgehog. Now she actually has to be calm while I'm actually taking out the hedgehog if she wants to stay here. You go here it is oh my god it is adorable now it's quills yeah you, she can watch I don't mind watching that's a good girl very well hold on I get to take my treat I just break the treats in tiny pieces that's very good That's exactly what she has to do. Now, um, it looks a bit deformed. It looks a bit flat. Um, but I guess you have to just, yeah. She, she, she really is the right shape. It's not really that, but 
it's just that this blush is a bit different compared with the others like for example here he has a very particular body shape because actually they have been bowling up its back see while here it's a bit flatter but it's amazing it's adorable so in fact it might make him even more easy to cuddle up with him never had a little um Kiel Toys Hedgehog glass, never found it, and it's amazing. It totally looks like a pygmy hedgehog. Well, its face, it really reminds me of, uh, of its, it's amazing, absolutely. So as you can see, yeah, it is really fluffy. It really is fluffy. Uh, fluffy because of its, yeah, the little hair around its face. Um, and its ears are a bit hidden. There they are. But they're a good size. It's hard to feel the direction. Look at the dog. It's amazing how she likes down like that. That is very good of her. It's hard to find out actually which direction its hair should be. Um, Karis, I see there. There they go like this. So I think it's like this, yeah. Here it's obvious. Here it's obvious how you should actually touch it. See, it's, it's actually pretty flat. It's a little pillow. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I do recognize the fluffiness of the Kiel Toys plush. Um, just in case you don't know Kiel Toys, it is a European brand. I'm not quite sure how easily you can actually find it in the US. Again, a hedgehog with a dog nose. Um, plastic dog nose. I'm gonna re reward my dog for being so nice. That is really good what she's doing. Breaking the treat. There you go. So what I actually give her is such a tiny little piece like this. Yeah, I dropped it. Sorry. It's very good. Now she's actually working right now. Um, she's working. Good girl. It's very good. Yes. Never seen you so calm in front of the camera before. She's 10 weeks now. But of course the sun gets her tired easily. Also walking on leash is actually, she's, she's actually getting there, um, she does really well. So just look at the um, pretty brown tan fur of the hedgehog, it, yeah it has kind of a flat shape compared with for example this guy here, but actually like I said in the previous videos, I like the differences between them, and this is such a fluffy guy. Amazing, glad I got him. Would be too bad I missed him. Now what actually people forget mostly when they design pygmy hedgehogs is their tiny tail. So actually none of my pygmy hedgehogs have a tail. Um, and also actually the place of the quills. In fact, um, the fluffy white fur is made out of the same material as the tan fur. So in fact, yeah, um, it's quill section I'm gonna say is just yeah I suppose it's the brown part of it uh, but it's not really a difference in the material used but I really like it's oh man and I just like the typical forehead here it's an adorable plush also I like the the feet the the legs here, they, here he has legs, see? Also the back legs are designed. The material of the belly is a bit different. It's short, it's shorter. There's a little short coat on his belly. It's a flatty hedgehog. So yeah, there he is. Oh ho! 
sorry, I'm yawning. What I think is a bit weird is the direction of the hair. Um, makes him look even flatter. <laughs> Flatty hedgehog. Now I guess that's gonna be it. Um, are you gonna put it next to each other just in case you wanna compare them? So this guy isn't flat at all. He's actually high quality. Um, and I think he's not particularly expensive for what he looks like. And his legs are less finished, but his belly is really shiny and soft. Again, he has no tail, but as you can see, actually, his belly... Um, well, it's a bit different. This guy looks like, looks like a little pie uh, because of his fluffy hair coming out here. So there you go. They're different, but they're adorable. Incredibly cute. Now just to tell you, um, he actually belongs to the woodland assortment. So they're called, um, this is the Keel Toys, 19 centimeters. That should be about eight inch, I think. Um, the woodland animals assortment and in that assortment you have a hedgehog and this was the last guy um, you have a fox a squirrel a fawn and I think that's about it yeah you're funny you're very funny with your very typical paw pets look at this so yeah he has an annoying little hair coming over his eye. This is such a cutie! Now I really hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll see you, see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye!